In the previous clip, Mark, our case study, left his girlfriend behind in Singapore over the Chinese New Year period to visit his parents in Australia. She was pissed. But was this a true case of righteous indignation, or are Singaporean women just plain petty? Would men and women in Singapore stand for it if their other halves left town? Oh, I won't force him to visit because what? I think I will still respect him. For Chinese New Year, I will actually give the parents goodies. Then uh, we will have some gathering on the reunion dinner. If we are only together for a short period of time, I think it's understandable because it's quite unnerving to meet your partner's family. If you are married already, then it's a different story because it's an obligation already. So my partner goes on holiday without me. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be quite disrespectful. I suppose we are still an Asian society. So in a way, and because our parents are still around, our elders are around, so we still have to respect how the way they do things. And uh, it's just not about ourselves, like during that period of time. So I think for just that few days, just to um, be mindful of other people, I think it's, it's alright. It sh- it sh- we should give the respect, at least. Will you get angry? No, I won't. If he decides to go on a holiday yeah. without you? Uh, yes, I will be. I won't break up. Lah. I'll cancel his trip. Yeah. If not, I make him pay for my trip. <laughs> why Why? Why would you get angry? Uh, that's a good question. I can't answer that right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Definitely. Why? Because it's a reunion day for everyone to get together, as well as family. Or. Why would you get angry? Why would I get angry? It's Chinese New Year. It's supposed to be with the family. So why why would we as get angry? Husband, yeah. As a husband. Yeah. If it was if he was just a boyfriend, would you get angry still? No. Of course. Why? Because actually it's very important for me to celebrate the Chinese New Year because I think it's one of the most important date of the year. Actually my husband is um, Caucasian uh-huh. and uh, as we are willing to have children, I have to give this tradition to my children. So that's why it's very important. You know, Chinese news with family members, right? So it's good to have a nice, um, cozy um, distraction and invite him to your family stuff, gatherings, and yeah. Why is this so important for Asian girls? To invite him to family stuff. Um, okay, honestly, to me, it's not important. It's nice to have, but if he's going away, bring me along. <laughs> <laughs> is it because you want to escape from the relatives? Yes. <laughs> And stop them from asking you. So when you're getting married? Why? <laughs> Doesn't matter la. She doesn't feel like visiting. It's okay with me. Depends what kind of girlfriend she is now. Like how you know close we are. During Chinese New Year, and she doesn't want to visit, but she leaves you behind in Singapore. Would you be pissed? No. Wow, quite giving ah. No, I will go for my own holiday. You see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so for a bit, be, uh, because I myself have my own family to visit. It's vice versa actually. If she wants me to visit um, her family, then she should also visit mine. Yeah. So if you do go and visit, uh, you know, what day would you usually visit on? Uh, maybe the second day because my family is in the top priority. So the first day should be visiting my family. Yeah. According to traditions, the second day is more suitable for visiting the parents of the person you are dating. But do people actually know this? In the next clip, an expert on Chinese New Year practices and taboos tells us the do's and don'ts.